Good morning everyone. So today is going to be a very long day. We are heading north all the way up to Ninbin, but we do have a layover in Da Nang, which we're really excited about before we take our overnight bus to Ninbin. Hoi An, you're unfortunately a good shopping destination. We have way too much stuff. Okay, so we've made it to the lobby. We are just waiting for our bus to pick us up. We booked it through our accommodation. It was 130,000 rupee or er, dong a piece. It was a little bit more expensive than we were anticipating, um, but I think it's gonna be a pretty comfortable ride in a pretty nice like limo bus. So it should be a good ride. Thank you for everything. Hello. Xin chào. Let's figure out our next move. Okay, so we've just <laughs> kind of plopped our bags on the sidewalk to regroup because we didn't actually know what we wanted to do. We have about, oh gosh, I would say we have an eight hour layover here, layover, in Da Nang before our bus actually leaves from the central bus station to Ninh Bin later tonight. Um, so Graham and I weren't really sure if we wanted to like find luggage storage, go out and explore, there's like marble mountains you can check out, or if we wanted to just kind of find a cafe to get some work done. So I think for the most part, it's just because we have so much stuff, we're gonna walk and see if we can find a cafe. This is definitely the heaviest my bag has been all trip. I wanted to make my day bag as light as possible just in case we ended up walking around the city. So this bag is really heavy. Also where our shuttle dropped us off this morning is really, we actually right at the end of the Dragon Bridge here in Da Nang. So what's cool with the Dragon Bridge is that obviously it looks like a dragon so it's got like big yellow beams and everything. It's very, very cool. So every night at the nine o'clock, the Dragon Bridge actually starts to breathe fire and it like launches big flames into the air. It's really quite something to see. Unfortunately, our bus leaves at 6.30 today, so we're gonna miss it. But if you're here in Da Nang and you want something to kind of check out at night, definitely check out the Dragon Bridge and the fire breathing. It's very interesting. Okay, so we've made it to the Local Beans Cafe. We're gonna sit here a little while, have some coffee, get some work done and then catch our bus later today. Okay, after successfully killing like six hours at this coffee shop, it's finally time to get some food and then go to the bus station. <laughs> this is tricky. <laughs> it's tricky. This is adorable. Okay, so we've come to Sangha restaurant. It's a vegetarian restaurant. That was like only a couple minutes walk from the cafe that we had set up camp at. Um, just to grab some food before we head to the bus station. We got a takeaway, so we're gonna grab it and go uh, just so we can make sure we get to the bus on time. So Graham and I often use the website called 12Go. It's very common here to book your transport through that website in Asia, but it is a third-party website, so you pay 12Go and then they take your money and they buy the ticket. So Graham and I have actually like struggled with this night bus. The original one that we wanted to get on, 12 Go said wasn't available, and they could put us on like a different company, but the times that we were listing weren't even times that were showing up on the 12 Go website, so it was really weird, and I was like, look, I want a little, Graham and I were going for a little bit of an upgrade instead of a third class sleeper like the last night bus. We wanted a second class one so that we get the curtains. It was a little hard to communicate with them. They did say that they found one at 6.30 instead of like 8 p.m. that we were trying to get on from the same company so hopefully it's the same sleeper bus. I'm like fingers crossed that it's going to be the second class sleeper bus that we booked instead of a third class one because it's just gonna make the journey a lot better because it's longer than our last sleeper bus. I think this one is like 13 hours or maybe slightly more than that instead of 12 like the last time or actually it ended up being like 10 like last time So we will see 
I did not sleep a lot on this last sleeper bus. I'm really hoping for at least like four hours of sleep would be amazing. I'm going for my original six. We'll see. Maybe I'll get more this time. <laughs> okay, we got our food, we've ordered our grab, time to head to the bus station. Okay, update for you guys. We just got dropped off. We are at the central bus station here in Da Nang. It is quite possibly the most confusing bus station I have ever been at. There is so many gates. Our driver, who didn't speak any English, was trying to ask us like where we're going, what company we're going with. We told him. He was asking staff. He didn't know. He just dropped us off. People were asking us where we wanted to go, and we said we have tickets, but we just don't know where to go. This is so confusing. This is so confusing. We have absolutely no idea where to renew our tickets. We have no idea where our bus is. Luckily, we are over an hour early. This is why you go In typical early. Robin and Graham fashion, we are an hour and a half early. I'm not panicked because we have lots of time, but I'm definitely overwhelmed with like everything going on. There is no like central departure. Or signs. Well, maybe there are signs. You I'm not, don't yeah. read them. So we might just have a wander and see if we can figure it out. I'm not really sure. This very, very nice local. So uh, I what took Google Google Translate, and he said go to the Kim Chi Garage, and pointed in the direction that we were currently walking in. So we're gonna walk in this direction and see if we can ask the next person without getting hit by a bus. Graham right now is just trying to like Google Translate communicate with some of the workers from the company that we're going with but I don't see like a central ticket station or anything like that so I just don't know how to get our actual tickets because usually you take your reservation from your phone and then you go and you get actual physical tickets that you then show to the bus driver to get on the bus so we just need to figure out where to do that step and then what bus we need to actually get on and where it's going to pick us up. I think 12 go sent us the wrong address which is what we were afraid of because they were so terrible with communicating when our first reservation wasn't available. When they rebook something for you, they send you the departure location as well as the arrival location and the departure location they sent us was the Da Nang Central bus station which is weird because we've never been picked up by like an actual bus station before. Usually they have some cafe that you go to or smaller company specific business to go to. We're just trying to figure it out. This is this is very, very, very confusing. I just want to get there on time. The local at the bus told us that it's the second bus in from the line here, but the person I just spoke to on the phone says it's a meeting point in eight minute walk away. So we are gonna go pack a ball, get our bags on and everything, walk to that meeting point and see what happens from there. So, <laughs> There was only one guy in here when we got to this like garage that we're at. No English again. We tried to Google Translate to be like, do we need a ticket printed? Like all of the other times, like it's literally, it just feels like a mechanic shop or like some kind of loading garage. Like it doesn't feel like, feels like we're definitely in the wrong spot, but we called the person again that Graham was talking to over WhatsApp and they said, no, this is the right spot. The bus driver is just going to assign you seats so you don't need tickets printed. And yeah, he said, just wait. The bus will be here at 6.30. This is by far the most confusing travel day we have ever had. Okay. Um, Robin doesn't even know this yet. This is the first time she's going to hear this. <laughs> but sometimes it pays to read your text and reread your text when it comes from the bus station. Or the bus company that you're booking with. Completely forgot that last night at 6.30 I got a text from the bus company confirming our two tickets and sending us the address of the pickup location. <laughs> and the address that they sent is exactly where we are sitting right now. <laughs> yeah. Are you for real? My inability to reread texts and read info that was sent to me, um, was, I guess, is very bad. So we're completely in the right spot. We're gonna sit here for the next 
50 minutes, enjoy our supper, and wait for the bus to come pick us up. This is the second time that Graham has misread text messages of where we're supposed to go or instructions. You might de be demoted here soon. I might have to take over. <laughs> so ridiculous. We were stressing for nothing. Whoops. <laughs> but we made it. Okay, it is currently 7.15. Uh, still no sign of the 6.30 bus. We saw a bus actually drive by at about 6.25. Um, exactly the kimchi 265 bus that we thought we would be on, but it went zooming by and we're thinking that might have been our bus and it just like didn't stop. I have been in contact with the people on, that I've had on WhatsApp. They said they booked us a ticket um, but there's also a bus at 8 o'clock, so there's people showing up, but we know that bus was sold out. So, not really sure what's happening. We're just hoping that there's a bus and that there's two seats for us to sit on on that bus. Because we'd really like to get out of Da Nang and make our way to Ninh Binh for tonight. Currently 7.50. We're hoping that we're on the 8 o'clock bus. There's a lot of people here right now, so really banking that there's two seats for us. A bit nervous. This whole process has just been like super confusing. I'm just really hoping that we get on a bus because if we don't get on this bus, I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, a bus pulled up. See if we can get on. Okay, the bags are on the bus. We're getting on the bus. Hopefully. We are on the bus. It is official. We are going to Ninbin. That was the most stressful couple of hours ever. Literally didn't even know if we'd make it out of Da Nang today, but I am so excited. And there's fuzzy blankets. Somehow, some way, we did it and we are on a bus. Okay, so there's lots of really great amenities on this bus. We get a blanket and a bottle of water with our seat, but there's also plug-ins, so we'll be able to charge our phones whenever we want. There's individual lights. I have curtains on both sides because I'm sitting in the middle, uh, and there's even a TV screen. Not totally sure how it works. We've had them on two buses now, and uh, still I'm yet to figure out how to actually turn it on and how to use it. I also just want to add that our last overnight bus was a third class, which is the lowest class sleeper bus. Um, so they don't have any like kind of separate compartments, no curtains. Uh, so just a little comparison. The curtain is really nice for separation. I know I heard Graham mention that before, but you also get your own individual um, like little vents. So if you're too cold, you can close them, or if you're hot, you can open them. And on the third class one, you don't have that control, so it's just whatever the temperature of the bus is. So it was really humid and hot on our last one. This one is already a lot cooler. Also, just a comparison for the length of the seat. This one reclines way more, and my toes don't even touch the end. I am five foot six. And on the last one, they like kind of touched the end. It kind of curved quite a bit at the end and I could feel like the hard metal. This one, I think the toe box is a lot bigger, which is good because now I actually have to sleep with my stuff. On the last one, there was like barely any people, so we just put it on a different seat. This one is clearly full, but I am just so excited to be on this bus. It was such, such a chaotic couple of hours. I. Graham and I don't believe that there was actually ever a 6.30 bus that was booked for us. I think the lady just booked us tickets on this one instead, but then just told us that our 6.30 bus was coming. It was just late, but then the other tourists that were getting on their 8 o'clock bus, they're also on this bus, so I don't even know. I wouldn't even begin to describe what even happened. I am just more than happy to be in this spot, on this bus, headed in the right direction. So, I think it should be good. Okay, so another long bus ride means another time we're gonna start. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, so 
we're still like just into the journey but it is absolutely pouring outside so the bus keeps pulling over to the side of the road i don't know if it's for another reason or if it's because of the heavy rain i mean the main reason why graham and i are skipping most of central vietnam and heading straight to the north is because they're experiencing a lot of flooding right now so I think that in the back of my mind is just like concerning me about the conditions a little bit but I see lots of sleeper buses like fly past us on this highway so I don't think it's an issue I just am so curious why the bus literally keeps pulling over every couple of minutes it's gonna make the journey really long if they keep continuing to do that but yeah I'll keep you updated hopefully these conditions don't last super long but we'll see Okay, we have made a, our first bathroom break. We have been going for one hour, 59 pretty minutes, two pretty much hours. two hours. It's approximately 10.15 at night. It's been a pretty good ride so far. Yeah, honestly, apart from like the honking, it's been pretty smooth. Yeah. It was really rainy there for a good chunk of time, but it stopped raining now, so the road conditions are a little bit better, which is awesome. Also, if you're ever curious about the bathroom situations. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, people were getting back on, so we had to switch locations. But if you're ever curious about the bathroom situations, almost always it's a squat potty with no toilet paper. So just keep that in mind. I always bring my own. I keep it super handy in a bag that's like right tucked into uh, my seat because it's not super ideal bathroom situations, but I will take a bathroom nonetheless and uh, not exactly sure when our next one is gonna be, but I'm just thankful that we got one around this time because maybe I will uh, try sleeping here soon. Yeah, I've had a pretty good ride. I've just been watching my show and hanging out. I've reorganized my seat a little bit so I could get a little bit more leg room and get a little bit more comfortable. And if you're curious, I've been reading my Kindle, which has been really nice. But apparently Graham has been using the Wi-Fi on this bus and it's really quite nice. Yeah really quite fast which is awesome i don't think we've been on a couple or at least we've been on one other second class and one first class sleeper bus and we never tried to connect to the wi-fi so we'll definitely note that for the next time okay it is currently three o'clock uh, we have been driving for just about seven hours now. Um, it's very bumpy, very fast, and lots of honking. So neither Robin and I have slept at all. Um, it's definitely been a bit of a grind, but that's okay. I guess that what makes memories. So hopefully this next little part, we can both get a little bit of sleep and uh, feel good for our first day in Indon. If you are curious about an update for me, no shock I haven't slept. I thought maybe on this bus because it's a little bit comfier, but this driver is way more wild than the last one I'm sure Graham told you. So they usually honk to pass and this guy is passing everyone. So he's honking all the time. And there was a couple times where it was like honk, 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 honk. And he slammed on the brake. So obviously they didn't move. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like we're actually gonna hit someone. So anyways, it's hard to sleep when my mind is like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> That's how this night is going so far. Sleeper buses and overnight buses are like so good in theory. Because you don't waste any of your time. But like when I'm on them, I'm like, why do I do this to myself? I'm just so tired. <laughs> I had read that some companies didn't actually take you to the drop-off stop, stop in Tamcock like they're supposed to. They drop you off just outside where there's a whole line of taxis waiting. 
that you then have to pay to take you into the actual city. And that is exactly what happened to us, which is super, super frustrating. We, it's also only 6 a.m. And it was supposed to be like a 12 hour journey. So Graham and I were getting some sleep. Like we were actually both sleeping. The second driver who took over was way better. But the timer officially stopped at nine and a half hours. Uh, so a way shorter journey than we thought. Maybe because our guy was absolutely zooming. I have no idea. But yeah, it's 6 a.m. There's like nothing open. We're sitting, looking at our hotel that is not open. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really know what we're gonna do. It's all been a very, very confusing travel day. Like nothing has made sense and nothing has really gone according to plan, but we're here in Tamcock, which is just south of Ninbin. I guess we're just gonna wait until we can get into our hotel. Seems like the only option right now. As we were looking lost and confused, our place opened. So we came in, <laughs> and now we're the only ones sitting in this restaurant. It is dark, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out here until I think we can check in and continue our day. Okay, we've only been sitting for about five minutes, and a very nice lady came over and said, you can check in now. So we're gonna check in, maybe even go to our room. I could actually cry, I'm so happy. <laughs> this is like, the best ending to a really crappy travel day. This is incredibly lucky and we are very thankful for this. It is currently 6.21 in the morning. So we're gonna get some sleep, maybe explore Tamcock later. Well, we took a very well-deserved nap as soon as we got into this room. It was like, put stuff down, immediately crawl into bed. And I think we got like four hours of sleep. We yeah. slept from like six to 11, which was so well needed. It makes me feel way better after this sleeper bus than I felt on the last sleeper bus. Yeah, honestly, it was so nice to just like, we waited outside for maybe 10 minutes, went for like a little two minute <laughs> walk and then checked in and immediately climbed into bed. So honestly, that five hours was so nice and yeah, now, uh, now I think we're feeling a little bit rejuvenated and we think we can power through the rest of the day. Um, after that, a bit of a hectic travel day here to Ninbin. Yeah, um, it was not what we were expected at all. The No. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, the whole process was super confusing Very with confusing. 12 Go saying that the 8 p.m. bus that we wanted with this company was sold out and then they were trying to put us on different ones and then eventually said, okay, if you want the same company, there's a bus going at 6.30 p.m. And we said, okay, Perfect. put us on that. And then they texted Graham saying where the meeting point was. So that whole mix up was definitely on us. We were messaging the lady and we're like, oh, like, so the bus is still scheduled to arrive at 6.30. 6.30 goes by, no bus is here. 6.45 goes by, we message her at seven. Because now other tourists, first of all, it was just Graham and I, so we were like, are we the only ones gonna get on this 6.30 bus? Or are we like at some random stop and it's gonna be full and we're just gonna hop on? Like we were so confused. And then some tourists started arriving and we were chatting with them and they were on the 8 p.m. bus. And I was like, oh great, like they're on the sold out bus, so where is our bus? Yeah. And I was starting to panic because then locals were arriving and I'm like, oh my gosh, this our bus, bus is for sure full. I'm like, our bus is not here, it is not coming. I am not convinced <laughs> it exists. And we're now waiting in line for the 8 p.m. bus that for our understanding, since we were trying to book it through 12 Go, was sold out. So a little bit of a panic. And the company Kimchi, I think that wasn't even the company that I had originally booked tickets for. So don't even know how we got on this company. I specifically didn't want this one because I had read that they drop you off at not the designated drop off stop with taxis waiting that then take you into the actual town. It was like an hour walk away is where they dropped us off. So that was yeah. just frustrating and it was like overwhelming. Like it was, 
the bus w took like a fraction of the time we thought it was going to, which is good, but also means that they were like, you need to get off right now. And I had all of my stuff, Graham and I were sleeping. Usually I try to wake up a little bit before um, we get to a place so that I can be all prepped and ready to go. But I mean, I was expecting a 12 hour bus and <laughs> not a nine and a half hour bus. So it was just, a, it was just all very, very confusing and not the most pleasant journey, even though the bus was comfy. It's nice to be a little bit rested, but I think this is where we are going to end the video. Uh, I, we hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye bye. I think 12 go sent us the wrong address, which is what <laughs> So, sorry. Let me...